Okay, hi everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining again. Um, welcome to part two. Um, I am Luana Fiol. I am a wife. You can come through. <laughs> I am a wife. I'm a mom of Thank you so much for the hearts. I'm a wife, I'm a mom of three little ones, and I'm a nurse practitioner. And um, today I'm gonna to be making some ch a few chocolate recipes with you. All right, so I do, um, this recipe actually comes from uh, someone uh, uh, called Homemade Mommy, that's Lindsay Cremont. Um, I do love this recipe, it's also very, um, you can make a lot of things with it. You can make a lot of adjustments and use your own uh, favorite uh, flavorings for it. And I do use uh, Young Living Essential Oils to flavor um, any of the chocolates that I'm making today. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is actually um, just combine, uh, first first thing I did already actually is melting my coconut oil. So I do have some organic coconut oil. Um, it's, it's winter. <laughs> So it is solid, um, so you do want to melt that down into liquid state. And I did that already, just taking one cup. I did melt it over a double boiler, all right? You don't want to microwave it because then it's going to not be so great, all right? So I'll go ahead and melt that in, in a double boiler. And here's my one cup. What you're going to do is actually use um, a food processor, or if you just want to use a, a bowl and just mix it in nicely, what you do, you, when you do use it, when you stir it by hand, be sure to make it homogenous, all right? Just into one um, consistent uh, fluid state. No lumps or bumps, okay? That's not gonna taste so great. All right, so let's get started. Thank you so much for the hearts, guys. All right, so all right, so here we go. Melted uh, coconut oil, just put, put that into my food processor. That's the first part. Okay, and now that's one cup. And the second uh, ingredient is, actually I'm gonna just take this off of here, um, is actually just one cup of raw cocoa. So raw cocoa, you can get that at the health food store. I've actually seen it even at the regular supermarket. So you can go ahead and uh, so search your, your uh, the aisles of your um, of your store for, um, search the aisles of your stores for the raw cocoa. It's available everywhere now. All right, so just put that in there. I actually saw it at Target too. Anyone likes Target? <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We have our uh, cocoa in there. Um, all right, cool. And it's in there. Now the next thing, last part actually, um, is our raw honey. So raw honey, if you know, it's pretty sticky. It's not um, melted and, and syrupy, um, but it's actually very thick. The nice thing about raw honey is that they, there are a lot of properties that can help your health. So definitely um, raw honey is the better way to go. There's also been shown that you don't your blood sugar does not spike as high uh, if you can uh, consume raw honey as opposed to uh, processed honey. So that's definitely a big difference um, in, in, um, in your body when you uh, opt for raw honey. All right, so... Yeah, so your chocolate recipe is going to be good for your health because <laughs> we have some really awesome, uh, good for you coconut oil, good fats, and then the raw cocoa as well is also cons um, also a superfood. So you're making some superfood uh, for your romantic uh, weekends away, right? Okay, so the one thing I did forget was um, our vanilla extract. So you get some good vanilla extract, um, and that's going to be one teaspoon of really good vanilla extract not the not the cheap stuff that's soaked in alcohol all right so some good vanilla extract it smells really yummy and you don't smell a heavy alcohol smell okay um, i use uh, the dr watkins um vanilla extract it's pretty good it's actually from madagascar all right so that's it that's the first step next thing you do is just blend it up a little bit just gotta close this here and process it. Awesome. And that's pretty much it. You just wanna get it into a nice liquid state. It looks amazing. I'll show that to you in one second. Before we move on uh, from this stage, I want to uh, chop our nuts because uh, in um, Lindsay Grimond's recipe, she does not really add any, any additives to it, but I am going to today. All right, just to make it a little bit um, 
fun for us. So I'm gonna, I have here some slivered almonds and also some walnuts, all right? So I'm just gonna take a few um, on my cutting board and just chop it up a little bit. Because you want the pieces to be nice and small because what, what you're gonna do eventually is to make our bar very simple. You don't have to get any fancy um, uh, bar molds or anything like that. They, they are available, um, but you, you just can just use a baking sheet, a cooking sheet, a cookie sheet, put a uh, parchment paper down, and what we're gonna do is finally chop our nuts and then lay, put a thin layer down first, and then you pour your chocolate over it. So the chocolate just goes and swims around your nuts and you get a nice um, nice chocolate bar. All right, so just uh, rough chop into some small pieces, your um, whatever nuts you like. And let's talk about flavoring. So yeah, I know, isn't that so easy? Um, it is very delicious, especially those of us who like nuts and near chocolates, that's me. I love almonds. Um, I do love uh, walnuts too. Another great combination is pistachios, which is really delicious. Um, you can do, so let's talk about our oil combinations here. So today, what's this? is this the same base for peppermint bark too? No, I'm actually gonna be doing a different base for peppermint bark. So this is, the, you, can, you can do it as well, um, but my peppermint bark I use actually just plain uh, melted chocolate morsels. So we're gonna be doing chocolate bark recipe later today as well. So that's our third recipe for the day. All right. Massages and dried cranberries together. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can add whatever combinations you would like as well. All right, so here we have, um, all right, so we're almost through with our, just a rough chop of our walnuts and pistachios. So again, you can do pistachios with, um, with orange, which is a really nice combination. Um, you could with walnuts. What do you? What sort of flavor do you think will go nicely with walnuts? Uh, so the cranberries going there. Cranberries would be nice too to add some dried fruit to it. Um, I don't have any. I do actually like oh orange. Yep, orange will definitely go nicely with it. Um, I love orange with my dark chocolate. So so this is basically basically like a dark chocolate because uh, you do have that raw cocoa. Um, orange would be wonderful. Lime is a nice option too. Uh, to go with your walnuts. Now, I threw this out to my husband and he wasn't too fond of the idea, but um, does, has anybody tried pepper, black pepper, with their chocolate? Ooh, stress away chocolate, yeah, that's gonna be yummy. Stress away and some lime. All right, so um, some people like black pepper. I don't know if you've seen some of those in the store shelves, but they actually have some black pepper chocolate. So that's another option as well. Um, if you like cinnamon, um, you can actually even add that to this to this base. Um, you can do cinnamon and nutmeg or clove and nutmeg uh, to make a really nice um, uh, chocolate recipe or even cinnamon bark. So if you're into that kind of spicy, warm, or earthy flavors, then you can throw in some citrus in there too to get your flavors going. Um, for this volume, which is about, um, it's going to be about a cup and a half, this volume. Yeah, definitely black pepper. <laughs> Especially for this time of the year, February, our love month. Um, we're going to add some black pepper. I, I uh, agree. I concur. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so definitely you can, you can balance it out. So for this volume of chocolate, that it's a cup and a half, um, you can do, you're gonna make a total of either 15 to 20 drops of oil. So you can combine um, different flavors if you'd like. But if you are using a hot oil, like, um, yeah, gingers too, gingers, ginger will be a nice one. Um, but if you're gonna use a hot oil, uh, meaning more spicy, warm, earthy oil, I would stick to closer to 10 drops in total. So, um, so like the cloves, cinnamon bark, and nutmeg, uh, even ginger has a warmer, earthy, um, hot, spicy um, flavor, and the black pepper especially, only use like one drop of that because it's very, very spicy. Um, yeah, all right, so today I'm actually with my walnuts, I'm going to use um, orange oil <clears throat> and lime, I'm gonna combine orange and lime. Another combination I love is actually tangerine and lemon. Um, yeah, I go a little overboard with the citrus, <laughs> but that's my flavor my flavor profile. All right, cool. So here we have, I'm gonna take you guys down from my stand so you can see what our chocolate looks like. It's very smooth. Um, yeah, tangerine is really delicious. I I'm gonna take you down from my little mock-up here. All right, so let's take a peek. And this is our, um, our chocolate. So you can see it's very, very decadent. It's 
strippy, nice little liquidy, right, liquid texture. So there we have it. I'm just going to pop you guys back into my stand. All right, cool. So the next step is now actually making the bark itself, the uh, bar itself. So very easy. Um, I'm going to swap this out here. Okay, and I did choose a smaller cookie sheet, um, so you get a little bit more, better thickness. All right, so here are my my, uh, my nuts. Just sprinkle it onto the base, just nice and even, so you get some some nuts throughout the, the um throughout the bar. All right, and that's part one. And now, before I forgot to add my oils, so I'm gonna do actually let's just put it around. I'm gonna do some uh, where are you? some orange and tangerine today, all right? So very, very citrusy, very alive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do 10 of the tangerine and five of the orange. Mm, it smells really good already. It's very, very wonderful, nice and uh, fresh. All right, there we go. So we have 15 drops total of our oil. I'm just gonna swir swirl it around with my um, with my spoon here just to get it in nicely. All right. Oh, sorry, I missed that, that comment. <clears throat> okay, all right, come on out, there we go. All right, it's a beautiful, nice texture, drippy. That's what you wanna see, all right, that's your chocolate. Homemade chocolate, raw, you know there's no preservatives in there, no chemicals in there. That's what you wanna see, all right? Okay, so now we just unhook this thing and all you do, just drizzle it on there, pour it on over your your nuts. And you want to get it at maybe about a half of an inch thickness, which is you know why we choose a I chose a smaller cookie sheet. Okay, and there we go. Now, all, then you, if you want to spread it out some more, just to get it all the way through, you can go right ahead and do that. Very cool. And there we have it. All right, so it, it just is liquid. It will flow and get uh, cover the cookie sheet nicely for you. And you see that that's speaking through a little bit. Um, and all you do now, again, oh, I forgot to mention there was a parchment paper on the bottom there because it will be easier once this is solidified to raise it off of the the, uh, the cookie sheet and cut it in, into the bars that you want. All right, so that said, it's liquid now. And all you do at this point is Oh, how long it will, oh, okay, yeah. So I, um, this can actually stay in the refrigerator uh, for about a week. Uh, I don't leave it out. Um, you can actually leave it in the freezer for a longer period. So if you I actually had some that I made over Thanksgiving and I had it in the freezer, forgot about it, and uh, it was still good uh, in early, you know, the end of January, so it was still pretty good, so yeah. So you can pop it in the freezer and it will last you longer and you can, you know, you don't have to eat the whole bar. <laughs> you can save some for later. All right, so this, all of our chocolate recipes, feel free to leave it for a longer time in the freezer. All right, um, so that's pretty much it. So to set this, it, we're gonna put it into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And once it's set, all you have to do is just um, cut it into the size of the bar that you would like. Um, if you want a thicker bar, you could use a smaller sheet um, you can also use the same recipe for putting into um, chocolate molds if you like. Um, if you do put in a mold, it will take longer to set um, in, the, in those little cute shapes. <laughs> you, it will take a little bit longer to set, so just be sure before you pop it out to be sure you, it's, it's solidified. So it will take maybe about an hour or so to, to set in a mold. All right, so thank you so much for joining. Any, any questions, any uh, suggestions uh, from anyone, you can go ahead and uh, put that in the comment section. And again, thank you so much for random chunks. Yep, yep, I like to do that too. Am I making these for Valentine's Day? Yes, I'm actually going to be, we have our kids, um, one just quick story, um, how thick it is, this is a, a half, about a half an inch, just how much this will end up being. Um, Fe February is our love month. Um, our kids uh, came home to us, um, our, our first one in February, 
15th, our second came home on February 13th, and Ariel, our last, was born in February. So, and also our second is also born in February. So this is our love month. Um, my husband and I actually got engaged on February 18th. So <laughs> yeah, everything love happens in February for us. So we do celebrate love. Um, just an appreciation for our family and you know, extra appreciation for our family in this month. So um, we have friendship parties for our kids at school this week as well. So I'm going to be um, making these bars and also some chocolate truffles, which I did earlier today. And later today, I'm going to do some chocolate, um, some shapes, some roses and hearts. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you for sharing, um, sharing this, um, this, this scope with everyone. And thank you so much for those who are joining us in the replay. All right. See you in a little bit. <laughs>